compile from source. Again, I'm so tired of compiling from source. We have this underscore 64 underscore DLL. That must be Windows stuff. We probably want the tarball. All right. Okay, put it in my OCD directory where OCD stands for Open Circuit Design. Let's do tar xvf ng spice. That's a lot of stuff. Let's go into ng spice 35. And let's see, is there a configure file? Okay, there's a configure file. Oh, should we read the readme first? There's a readme. It needs no introduction, right? Stuff, stuff, more stuff. All right, let's try dot slash configure. Huh, that was happy. Okay, let's try make. Fatal error. Fell not found for the XFT. FT2 build dot H. Oh, wait a minute. So it was trying to include something from X11. Okay, so time jump. It's about two hours later. And after a lot of pain and suffering, I figured out that FT2 build.h is associated with this thing called free type 2 that on my machine is in user slash x11 slash include. However, that's not where ngSpice looks for it. So let's go back to ngSpice and talk about what's going on. The main thing we want to use is this build for Mac OS script. Now, if we take a look at that, you'll see that I've actually modified this to go to user x11 include slash free type 2. This was not what was there originally. This still doesn't work. I don't know why. I think in order to fix it, what we have to do is we need to edit configure.ac, not make, I want to code configure.ac, which is the template for the configuration file and fix this up over here. So I'm gonna look for free type two. All right, so it's looking for it in user slash include slash free type two. I'm gonna change this to user slash X11 slash include free type two. So that's at line 186. Let's look for other instances of free type two or other instances of free type. Okay, it's looking for libraries, yada, yada. Okay, so maybe with this path here, it will be able to find it. Okay, let's do dash slash build tab autocomplete. Let's run that build script. Cross your fingers. All right, so now it's up to another error. It's having trouble finding font config. Do we need to do the same thing except with font config? I hate playing whack-a-mole like this. Okay, let's list user x11 include Oh, there's a font config there. What about if I go into configure.ac and I look for that free type 2, and let's add another line. Can I also add dash i user x11 include font config? Do I have to do this for everything? Is there an easier way? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so let's save that and let's try running the build script again. Still not able to find font config. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's a clue in the way it's calling it with this directory style structure. So we have font config slash font config dot H. So if I were to go in and check out the configure.ac file again, I think what it probably wants to do is something like this. So it's going to look for font config directory in the include directory. Let's try that. Okay, try the build script again. I'm amazed if anyone's still watching this. You must be really wanting to compile this for your Mac or you just like seeing Georgia Tech professors suffer. Wait a minute. Okay, I think we're up to weird errors. Use of an undeclared identifier, TC sets, term set? Expanded from a macro. 
Okay, and apparently that term underscore set is a macro that is equivalent to TC sets. And when I searched on that, it turns out that TC gets and TC sets, at least in this thing where somebody is doing something with Golang, they say to use TIOC set A. I can't believe this. All right. So let's see. That's complete.c. All right. Where is complete.c? Here's an instance of that TC sets. How many of these are there, TC sets? Just one. All right. So I'm going to change that. And let's see. I see there's also something involving git. We probably need to change this to get a also, I'm going to guess. And there should be a C here, I think. Does that match up what we have over here? Yeah. Okay, let's try recompiling. Okay, now we're up to omp.h. Okay, I seem to have found the suggestion of sudo port install lib omp plus top level. Let's see what that does. Sure. All righty. Let's run the build script again. Still not found. All right. So it looks like it installed it in opt local include lib omp. Okay. So let's go to that configure.ac file again. Whoops. Configure.ac, not ACE. And let's look for that directory path and include another one that has this opt local include lib omp path in it. How many times have I tried to build it this evening? There's whatever you're seeing on the video, assuming you're still here. You must be very dedicated. And then there's all the times I've tried this that I haven't been recording. And then times I've been recording, but I'm not going to include in whatever the final edit of this monstrosity is. Why is it not finding omp.h? I told you where to find omp.h. What if I were to copy opt local include lib omp slash omp.h to user local include. Whoops, I misspelled include. Oh, I need to sudo. Somebody said I should be able to sudo bang bang. Ah, there we go. Let's list user local include. Okay, there's omp.h. Will it find it there? Ah, okay, let's see what we have here to this point. <laughs> it's a library not found for Dash shell free type. Uh, okay, so all of that stuff before was about the include files. Now we're actually talking about the library files. So let's go to configure.ac again and ask about free type. All right, so there's the include file for free type, the free type two, free type, free type, free type, free type, free type. So maybe it's a matter of telling it where to find the actual library files and not just the include files. Okay, so if I look in user x11 lib, I have a lib free type dot dilib. And I have a lib free type dot six dot dilib. And if I look in the make file that was created by this whole process and I search for user x11 lib, it shows up here in this xlibs line along with this dash l free type. So I think that should mean that it should find this, right? Wait a minute. I just reran the build script this guy, and it gave me something new. What is going on here? Error, linker command failed with exit code. This is a different error than what we had before. 
Symbols not found for architecture arm 64. What is all of this? Is it not complaining about, what was it, the free type anymore? And now it's complaining about something else, which is great. But why is it not complaining about free type anymore? And what is this new thing that it's complaining about? Okay, what is all this nonsense? CCLDNG Spice. Exception what reference from blah, 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 undefined symbols. What? Okay, you have to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. I fold them. If anyone can make sense out of, say, anything in this video that could help me to get this to compile for the Mac, this is a Mac M1 running Big Sur. I don't know if the M1-ness is the problem or the Big Sur-ness is the problem or what. Or if anyone actually involved in making NG Spice would like to try compiling it on a modern Mac and making this work, that would be awesome.